I'm Julia Davids, the Artistic Director of the Canadian Chamber Choir and co-author with Stephen Latour of the book Vocal Technique, A Guide to Classical and Contemporary Styles for Conductors, Teachers and Singers. Today we're going to spend two minutes on expanding our vocal range, how high and low we can sing. Let's start by establishing that each of us will have limitations because of our own physiology, but we can definitely learn techniques that will help us maximize our individual ranges. For most of us, singing in our lower range is pretty comfortable as it is closest to the range of our speaking voices. Recall from our session on registers that our lower or chest register involves contracting our thyroarytenoid or TA muscles. They're thick and make a lot of contact. In contrast, our upper register or head register also requires thinning and stretching our folds by using our cricothyroid or CT muscles to tilt the thyroid cartilage. If you keep your larynx comfortably low, this tilting will occur automatically as your pitch ascends. If your upper register is out of practice, try using your straw or light sirens to access that sound. Ooh! Once you're able to do this, Try some descending patterns to bring that lighter sound down lower. Accessing higher notes depends on how successfully we transition between the lower and higher registers, like shifting gears in a car. There are four actions that will help our voice transition between the lower and higher registers. Changing the relative dominance of the TA and CT muscles, slightly reducing our breath pressure and how firmly the vocal folds come together, and modifying our vowels. More on that next week. Play with these elements by singing larger slides that traverse areas of register shifts. Thanks for watching. The CCC reminds you to keep singing.